Ray Cordy, I should say, centre field. Now, jump James Stevens by two pines. Back goes Jackie Turd. Under pressure from Michael Fenley, gets his clearance up the far wing. Back goes Jared Fenley. Leaves it to Eamon Welch. Gets his hand pass away. And Shamrock's clear their lines. That was Henry Shefflin back there in the, the full-back line. Colin Fennelly drives it in, and that's a good point by Colin Fennelly. Henry is in at full forward. On Tomas Kyo. Jackie Turl readjusts the helmet. It's 1-8 to James Stevens and 10 points for the Shamrocks. Derek Brennan. Dunnick a left corner for James Stevens. That happened before half time. James Stevens again. Matty Root. Matty Root goes forward, takes a shot and sends the ball over the bar. Ray Cody was down for a moment, but he's back on his feet. And Matty Root has stretched the lead to two. One nine to ten. Three minutes into the second half. Ray Cordy slips out of his hand, back goes Jackie Turrell. Chased by Michael Fenley, Turrell has the speed. Back to Donica Cordy. Cordy clears it long. <laughs> Finish man Carl, the Shamrocks man left it, but he got there eventually. Bob, Bob Elward, man Bob, well played. Colin Fenley did well, under pressure, makes progress. Ryan Paul and a free for James Stevens. Shamrock's man on the ground. And they certainly lose their free, if nothing else, and Jackie and Turner could be in trouble. Well, James Stevens had won the free. Colin Fenley is the Shamrock's man on the ground, and Jackie and Turner, I think, is the man in trouble. Or is he? No, maybe not. Well, the referee is writing something, and it's a red card for Jackie Toole. Jackie Toole, James Stevens, captain off the field. James Stevens are down to 14 men. And another card being flashed. Is it Colin Fennelly got that one? Michael Fennelly is still questioning the referee. And is Colin Fennelly off? Has Colin Fennelly been sent off as well? I think he may be. And now the referee is talking to the linesman. Yes, Colin, Fe Colin Fenley is off as well by the looks of it. So both teams down to 14. James McGarry is in on the pitch questioning and the referee is going to restart and Colin Fenley and Jackie Turrell are gone and it's a free in for the Shamrocks. So Henry Shefflin with this free... 1 9 to 10, two points between the teams. 50, 35 out, dropping it short. Off of Derek Cordy's hand, and a great save by Derek Brennan. Shamrock's trying to get that ball in. Tomas Kyo on the ground and wins his free out. Great work, great save by the goalkeeper Derek Brennan, great work by the backs, and Tomas Kyo wins the free. One, nine to ten points. Board players down to 14 men. Two of our inter-county men gone. Eamon Sheehy has gone in. 
at centre half back I think for the village Schaaf is Patrick not in the game an awful lot today Michael Fennelly Owen Reid to Michael Fennelly Michael Fennelly goes around Mike McQuillan hops off a few more Michael Fennelly loses the ball good pressure by the backs and the ball comes out and is cleared for the James Stevens to the far side Joseph Holden David Hine David Hine sends it in block shot block down James Stevens come away still James Stevens great work on Larkin Draw it round to the ground in a free players playing all over the pitch running themselves to a standstill James Stevens have a free Stevens two ahead. So on Larkin, after receiving attention, ready to take this free. Eight and a half minutes gone in the second half. James Stevens leading by two. 60 out. Strikes it in and sends it over the bar. <laughs> Connor Welch goes off. Mark Elwood comes on. That change was made again last, last week. Pugout comes to this side. David McCormick. Michael Fennelly in strong. Goes up this wing. Still Michael Fennelly. Leading James Stevens players in his way. The ball goes to the right and goes wide. And is Derek Brennan happy to see that ball wide? Nine and a half minutes gone in the second half. James Stevens won ten. Bally Hill Shamrocks ten points. Matty Root is now marking uh, Mick Fenley. I think the game has quietened down a little bit now. The needle has gone out with after those sendings off. Pity they had it to happen. Eamon Welch back up for the Shamrocks. Dunnick Accordy trying to hold the ball up. Ron Reed did well. Chaff is Patrick. Oh, great catch. Mark Elwood, great catch on the free in for the Shamrocks. <laughs> Henry Shefflin with this free. 35 out in front of the post. His team is trading by three points. drives it into the village crowd behind the goal and puts it over the bar. So two points between them and 11 minutes into the second half. Derek Brennan with the puck out. Owen Larkin. Low ball inside. David Walton came to meet it. Owen McCormick is there. Walton tries to get onto it. And the Shamrocks have it. But Aidan Cummins to Eamon Welch. Bob Elwood gets the run. Tomas Kjord did very well, but didn't get the ball. Henry Shefflin has it. Henry goes through, takes his point, and puts it over the bar. Urges his teammates on. One point between the teams. One ten for James Stevens. Twelve points for the Shamrocks. They need a goal. 
12 minutes into the second half. Derek Brennan. The wind has dropped, the rain is trickling down but very light. Here's on Larkin again. Be driven out onto the wing and passes it back. Nile, Cri Nile, Cheer not Nile Cheer, David McCormick. Dangerous ball! Oh, the ballkeeper did well. Richie Reid. Chaff is passing. Over the sideline, sideline ball from James Stevens. Sideline ball for James Stevens, cut it inside only to where the Shamrocks men are. Bob Elwood on the ground. Joe Finley up the wing. David McCormick tussling there, own Reef 14 playing out the field. Ball near the sideline, gone out. Shamrocks ball, I think. That's what the referee is saying. Off the foot of the James Stevens man, I think. Chaff is Patrick with his sideline ball. Going to take a quick one into the centre. Eamon Welch. Michael Fennelly from the halfway line drives it inside. Henry Shefflin was in too far. Tomas Kaur loses the ball. Henry Shefflin has it. Henry Shefflin half blocked down. Back was Philly Larkin. And a great clearance by the village man. Owen McCormick couldn't get it, inside, back goes Joe Fenley, chased by David Walton. Up to Eamon Welch, playing more up the field now. Welch from the halfway line, drives it across to this side. Oh, great catch, Dunnick Cody. Back up the field, all Shamrock's men on this side. Aidan Cummins, back up. Henry tries to break it down, he's on the ground. TJ Reid overruns it. Village man clears it. David McCormick sends him on the attack. Over to the far side. Owen Larkin. Owen Larkin intercepts that ball, drives it forward, sends it in and sends it over the bar. Off the post and over the bar. for James Stevens. 12 points for the Shamrocks. We're halfway through the second half. It's getting quite dark. We're in winter time now and it's quite dark here in Northern Park. But the Shamrocks are on the attack with Michael Fenley. Michael Fenley is fouled. It's a free in. for James Stevens, 12 pounds for the Shamrocks, 14 and a half minutes to go. Henry Shefflin with the free, another pound for the Shamrocks. So Ray Cody is going off, the James Stevens team, Richie Hayes is coming on, that change was made again last week. Round of applause for Ray Cody. Two good games last two Sundays. Jerry Brennan pucks out. Ball broken down. Over the sideline, sideline ball for James Stevens. Richie Hayes is wearing number 20. David McCormick with this sideline cut, 60 metres from the Shamrock's goal. 